So this is kind of a little old news, but people have been asking me. So now it's about time that I mention this. It's concerning Kanye West. So you all heard about his conversion, or I say conversion lightly because I don't really know, obviously. I don't really know. Now, a lot of people are asking me about my opinion concerning Kanye West, if he's genuinely saved or not. Now, what I can do is this, is that what I can do is that put saved here, and then I'm going to put lost over here. Now, what I'm going to do is this, is that from what I noticed in looking at Kanye West's life and then his new album that came out, as well as uh, some of the people that he came across and his, I guess, his pastor, so to speak. He did attend this person's church several times. So his name is Adam Tyson, if I recall correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain about Kanye, if he's genuinely saved or lost, and then I'm going to actually give you this. A lot of people give their opinion that he's saved or he's lost or I'm not really sure, but this is a good chance for me to teach about lordship salvation, so says some Calvinist. But what I'm going to do is going to give you all sides concerning this. So that's what's probably going to be different about this video compared to other videos. So what I'm going to show you is show all the other sides over here. That's what I'm going to do. Concerning about his salvation, what I'm going to say is this, is that it seems like that when I watch him online, I mean, it looks like that he had some sort of experience. He wants to make changes, and he wants to magnify God and try to serve him. If you look at some of the things that he put on his album, it is very noble what he tried to do. He tried to get people to go to church. Uh, there were some other religious names that he was going to put in, but he wanted to concentrate only Jesus, actually. Not only that, he did go to this person's church several times, not just one time. And this person, this pastor, Adam, he tried to make sure of his salvation. So it was not like a sloppy thing. They want to make sure and they want to be very careful. And it seems like that Kanye's reaction, it is encouraging to be very honest when you see a Hollywood celebrity in front of these wicked liberal people who cussed out Jesus Christ and they get all upset about everything going on with Trump and everything else, that it is very refreshing to see Kanye get up and talk about Christianity and Jesus and God in front of these stupid talk show hosts who build up millions of views. And these guys, uh, it just makes me angry, these talk show hosts and these comedians always trying to bash Christianity, always trying to criticize Jesus. And it's just refreshing that because they have respect for Kanye, they can't really criticize him, but they just say, that's good, that's good, that's good. Why? Because then they'll look really bad in front of the eyes of the world. So it's very encouraging to see that. It's, all, it's not just him. There are other celebrities who have indicated Jesus or tried to talk about Jesus Christ several times and several Hollywood stars. I would probably, I'll probably make a video on that one someday. And it's refreshing to see that. And it's also refreshing to see how the liberal world, they can't really argue against that, but just leave it alone. <laughs> they can't. So uh, when I look at the videos, he looks genuine. He looks like he's sincere, that he wants to do something for God. But here's another thing, too, is that sometimes you can't just believe what you see. So you also have to be careful of that one, too. So I'm going to, so this is the best that, this is the best situation, which I hope for Kanye. Amen. I really do. Do I want him to be a Luciferian, part of the conspiracy Illuminati system? Obviously not. I don't. People who want that kind of expectation should search their hearts. So I don't want sissified Christians out there get upset at me. Oh, he's saying he's Luciferian, stuff like that. No, I want him to have this outcome, obviously. But I'm not, I'm not gullible either to just believe what I see. Okay? So this is just the best alternative. Now let's cover the lost situation. All right. So it's just going to get worse and worse. That's what I'm going to show right here, okay? All right, so let's say right here that he did go 
to this Pastor Adam, who has a teaching of lordship, salvation, and Calvinist elements. Now, let's cover something right here. All these Calvinist guys are now coming out of the woodworks and lordship salvation teachers. You got Ray Comfort coming out talking about it. You got uh, Apollo Gia Studios coming out talking about it. You got uh, all these other Calvinists coming out and harping about it. And then Christian preachers, Todd Friel from the Wretched Channel, because it is a Wretched Channel. And all these people coming out talking about uh, Kanye and con uh, talking about his salvation. Now, the thing is this. What's very interesting to me, okay, there is a positive point and a negative point. All right, so I'm not being unfair to Calvinists. So I'm going to talk in a way that's fair to Calvinists. The positive point is that they don't want to dub him as immediately saved. They just say that they're checking up on his salvation. They want to make sure of his salvation. So what they're doing is that they're inspecting him first, how he lives his life for Christ. And depending on that, then they can know later on or maybe up in heaven whether he's saved or lost. So a lot of these videos that you'll see, these Calvinists, most of them will say, I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure, but I can tell that he's trying and uh, I want to help him out. That's what we're trying to do. That sounds nice, right? Uh, but you notice right here what Satan did to trick you. This is something people don't notice. And this is what's going to bring the new world order system. Now you're saying, what are you talking about? He's crazy. He's nuts. No. Okay. Do you know with the uh, one world religion, what they share in common, the one world religion? What they share in common is that they're trying to promote this teaching that we do believe that it's salvation by faith. We're not saying it's works. We're saying it is by faith. And I've given you quotes on that. The Catholic, the worst religion from the Catholics to the, to the best Seventh-day Adventists of the cults. They're all saying it's faith and grace. We're not saying it's by works. But if, you're, if you genuinely have this faith and grace, there should be works where we can inspect and see for ourselves if you're really saved. Who said that? The devil. But Pastor Adam himself said that too. And these Calvinists and Ray Comfort too. You notice that the reason why they say, I don't know. You know why they have to say, I don't know? Because they can't base the salvation on a proclamation of, I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior by faith on what he did on the cross. They have to inspect his fruits. Now, let me ask you this question. Assuming, I'm not saying he is, assuming he, Kanye, is saved, what if he went into sin again? What if he started to sing dirty albums and music again? What if he lived like the devil again? Are you going to say that he's lost then? See that? Then they're going to switch. They're going to switch and say he's lost. When we covered our intermediate discipleship classes on these cults, I showed you that these religions, they're trying to assimilate themselves with us Christians. We teach salvation by faith, salvation by grace, but you notice that they're saying, but we have to see if your works really prove it or show it. And if you look at John MacArthur's sermons, you look at these Calvinist sermons, Apollo Gia Studio sermons, and you look at Ray Comfort, sadly, too, which I don't think he's a Calvinist, He's almost like us, but uh, some of our Bible-believing friends encountered him, and there are some interesting stories. So I'm sympathetic to Comfort, actually. But Comfort and these guys, I still expose them. You know why? Birds of a feather flock together. Comfort hang around with these Calvinist guys or teaches the same thing they do. You know why? Because they teach this heresy of lordship salvation. Lordship salvation, that's a Calvinist doctrine on tulip. The five points of Calvinism, P and Tulip, perseverance of the saints. In other words, if you're truly a saved saint of God by grace, then we're going to see that perseverance out of your life. What if Kanye doesn't persevere? See that? So that's what Satan's going to use. So then, you know what's even worse? It's not just one world religion. It's the world system itself. Why? Just look at Pastor Adam. He looks like a saved man to you, right? Look at Apologia Studios. They look like saved people, don't they? 
Look at James White. He looks like a saved person, doesn't he? These are people who shoot off their mouth about, by their fruits ye shall know them. Let's look at their works. But these are people who join the world. Now look at James chapter 4. Keep your hand at Matthew 7, but go to James 4. James chapter 4. Having tattoos. Paul Washer, who seems like the most hardcore lordship salvationist. Paul Washer would talk about this contemporary music concert. Oh, you know, I, I felt the Lord Jesus Christ at this music meeting. And he's really hardcore lordship salvationist. You know what the problem with these lordship salvationists are? They're like the Pharisees who pick and choose which works promote them as being righteous people, but they don't look at other sins that they're overlooking. That's Pharisees. That's Pharisees. Calvinists are Pharisees. The biggest Pharisees you'll ever see on this side of the universe anywhere. And what's so dangerous about them is that because of their intellectual ability and because they do study the scriptures, they seem to be the most popular Christian side that you want to side with. Unless you knew about us Bible believers, then you know that we're in the right right here, the most scriptural. But people don't know about the Bible believers. So they think the most scriptural is the Calvinists that they hear, John MacArthur, and then uh, the one who's not a Calvinist, Ray Comfort, but he joins that group with this teaching. Paul Washer, Apologia Studios, uh, Todd Friel from the Wretched Channel, etc. Look at James chapter 4, verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the what? Friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the what? Enemy of God. You know what's also dangerous concerning with Kanye? Because now he's joining the Calvinists, Adam was responsible here for helping him with his album. So you know what they're doing? They're trying to get these people about, oh, if you're genuinely saved, you're genuinely saved. I'm righteous, I'm holy, genuinely saved. And they're sucking them inside the dirt. That's Satan's tactic. That's Satan's tactic. And what's really sad is that what is unfortunate to me is I wonder if Kanye is thinking that he's saved. Why? Because of how he's living his life and works. That's what I'm afraid of because of what he was brainwashed by these Calvinists. Okay, if you're truly saved by grace and faith, you got to keep persevering in these things. And we're going to check you out. And if Kanye trusts in those things, I'm going to tell you that uh, who I'm really angry against, and that's not Kanye in this teaching. It's those dirty, stinking, rotten people who are so much pumped up with pride, Calvinists. Amen. Yeah. You see why I kick these guys? Yeah. Why I kick these guys? That's dangerous. And they're sucking them inside the world at the same time. Right. This is wicked. This is wicked. So notice it's promoting a one world religion and into the world itself. Because you know why this is dangerous? Use your head now. These liberals are now trying to accept Kanye with his worldly album. So then wouldn't these Calvinists develop more of a friendship and a bond now with Hollywood, the, which is the pits of hell itself? Then if Hollywood gets along with the Christian churches, the Christian churches are going to be deceived thinking this is a victory where we finally reached inside Hollywood and ministered to these people. No, the devil achieved in making what? One world. How about that? All right, now, this just gets worse now. <laughs> the worst thing is this, is that Kanye is not the first if he's lost. Now, concerning about Luciferians and the Illuminati world and etc., the conspiracy evil realm, the elites, this is what's scary. You know what's scary? Sometimes you got to realize that, for example, we know that the Bushes, they were uh, associated with the skull and bones and a lot of dark stuff, right? Okay, 
George Bush, he made a profession that he received Christ for his salvation. It is by faith and not by works, etc. Okay, so me, I'm not going to say that he's saved or he's lost either, because that's only for God to decide. But I'll tell you this, is that it is natural for people of power to say statements like that. Why? So that they can win the affection of the people. Politicians, you got to understand, sometimes they'll say Christian statements to lie so that they can get your vote and win your affection. In fact, there are some people who ask questions, like Ray Comfort, for example, he's been questioning some people through his channel, like, do you think that this is just some kind of gig where Kanye's trying to get popularity, trying to get attention? Why is that? Because this is not new. That's normal. It's normal with celebrities and famous people that they do that to win your affection. So this is the worst alternative right here. The worst alternative is if Bush is lost and he did that where he can uh, accept the power so that certain elites can do their thing with the world, then the elites are using Kanye through his profession where the Christian churches can join him and then the elites, they'll have their little hands together where Hollywood can accept these Christian churches and then the elites, they'll be able to have control over the churches. So that's something that's like the worst alternative then. The worst alternative is that this is the case right here. And uh, with Kanye's past, there's a lot of things where with his uh, hand, hand signals and then the music that he did with his blasphemous album concerning about Jesus and passion of Kanye trying to and calling himself God and all that. It's, uh, very, it's very disturbing, actually. It's very disturbing. A lot of Illuminati conspiracy things over there. So it may be that these things, that he's continuing it, but he's faking his salvation, his Christianity, so that, he can, so that the elites can be able to control more of the dark systems of this world. Is that possible? Of course that's possible. But he showed such sincerity of salvation. Exactly, just like Judas Iscariot. Amen. Three and a half years, a disciple of Jesus, guess what? Judas Iscariot did healings too. Judas Iscariot was street preaching the gospel of the kingdom too. And Judas Iscariot, guess what? He casted out devils too. Look at Matthew 7. And guess what? Just because these people act like disciples of Jesus, which is what these Calvinists are saying. It's through, you have to prove your discipleship to Jesus and you know, then we know you're saved. No, Judas Iscariot proved his discipleship as a disciple of Jesus. He did these wonderful works. Look at Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not, what? Prophesied in thy name. I did the album for you. And in thy name have cast out devils. In thy name done many wonderful works. Verse 23, and then will I profess unto them, what? I never knew you. Even if Kanye preached against the devil and the false religious founders, guess what? He can still be used by the devil. You don't believe that? Look at this one. They cast out devils. Judas Iscariot joined the disciples in casting out devils too. That doesn't prove that you're not used by Satan. And guess what? Judas Iscariot, guess what? He became, he's going to become that antichrist in the future. How about that, huh? How about that? Am I saying Kanye is this? No. What I'm showing you is this. I'm showing you three situations here that it seems like onliners and people don't really think about. This is what's going to be unique about this video. So these are three situations that you got to think about. And obviously, what do I want? I want him saved. And you know what I want? I want people to actually give this video to him. Hopefully that he can get this video. And maybe when he watches this, then perhaps the Lord can speak on his heart and he can watch more things from our channel. And then what? He can become a Bible-believing Christian. <laughs> that would be the greatest joy in my life. I highly doubt that's going to happen because once you get into Hollywood, you, that's a lot you have to sacrifice. 
I don't think Kanye is going to change all of that immediately. That's going to take a lot of hard work. But perhaps the seed can be planted. I don't know if someone can send him this video or not, but that's what I want. I want him to be saved. Amen. All right? I want him to be a saved Christian. Maybe he is, but he just needs Bible-believing truth. Yeah. 